you did the task earlier, right? Yes. So tell me, did you were you able to cover all the points of the task? Your voice is a bit. Uh... Hello. Am I audible now? Yes, better. Were you able to complete all the points of the task? Uh, I was like uh, with the help of uh, you can say I wasn't able to do the one point which is with the help of uh, Redux thunk. Okay. Uh, for a sync request, I wasn't able to do that. I was able to do with the help of other method. Okay, fine. Other than that, your task was fine. So, uh, tell me uh, how are class components and functional components? How do class components and functional components differ? So, uh, they uh, like. Okay, so functional components, uh, they are simply, they, they can be, uh, they are very much like JavaScript functions, whereas uh, the class component, we have to like uh, extend from a React dot component and create a render function. Uh, and functional component, you can say they are uh, easier to test because they are simply a JavaScript uh, functions as compared to class components and uh, functional components uh, it doesn't use render method whereas uh, class component use render method okay so if you could a similar class and component perform better uh, uh, like they will be like uh, similar but uh, a bit uh, a little bit better in functional components uh, that is the uh, as compared to the performance there will be like little much uh, a little difference in performance but uh, yeah uh, it will be easier to like write the functional components and also uh, it reduces the complexity functional components and as compared to the performance it will be a bit different only a small difference okay so in that in the task you didn't add redux part so still do you know how to do add redux to a project uh yeah redux i have done in one project so like i am not extremely proficient uh, like i think of myself in redux but yeah, I do have an idea. So what what is Redux used for? Obviously, a Redux a Redux is used for management of state globally. So, uh, we can manage the state uh, in uh, globally in terms of uh, we can see. Okay, fine. So, do you use uh, use state and use effect hook? Yes. So, tell me something like why do you use use effect and why do you use use state? So use state, uh, why we use is like recent project which uh, we did in the task. So we have took the visible. So what we want to provide is the data. So uh, for example, const uh, visible what we have took is visible set visible uh, equals to like uh, use ten ten. So what we are doing is we are providing a visible. Uh, initializing the value to the uh, 10 to visible and then with the help of set visible we can change it uh, so for that we use use state and use effect what we do is like we helps like in uh, like you can say for uh, adding you can say uh, component uh, did mount did update methods lifecycle method in functional component for that purpose we use use uh, tell me about some uh, some other hooks that you have used other than use state and use effect. Uh, use state, use effect. I have used like uh, I've used use ref. Uh, I've used uh, I've used uh, I've used use reducer. Yeah, these two I have used mainly. Other than those two. Okay. Fine. So, uh, uh, 
next um, just these are just basic questions that basic things that we are using in nowadays like react functions and uh, classes so uh, tell me do you use console log while you're writing your code yes why we are you using console dot log while yes, you are yes using yes code? yes so why do you use it uh, for testing purpose like uh, what uh, data it is arriving there okay fine so if there is a big project so at the end of the project it might happen that there are like 2000 to 3000 console dot log throughout the project okay okay it might happen. So uh, I just move on to solution because adding so many console logs throughout the project and when it is going for live, you have to comment it or uncomment it or something you have to do so that it could it should shouldn't so at the live server, right? Yes, yes. So tell me uh, some idea from uh, this is like a small challenge, coding challenge. So uh, tell me an idea so we can solve this issue and there could be like a simple endpoint from where we can just switch off all the consoles and switch on all the consoles something anything so that we don't mm -hmm. have to just go and comment everywhere throughout the code you got my question uh, yeah uh, got it so you mean to say there will be many console logs all over the program all over the application so uh, we want to like reduce the complexity by writing a minimum uh, logs right less logs yeah we want to write very less logs but as they are necessary as they tell us about the state of the application so i want a solution which can disable and enable the logs whenever you want uh, we can write uh, i we can write common function for that so you said Okay, fine. So, okay, I think we are done. Thank you.